Hey, what's up guys? It's Pixelated Apollo. Thank you so much for stopping by and happy New Year's Eve. And what better way to celebrate than with a very, very explosive game of Napoleon Total War. We have artillery all over the place. We have unicorns, we have rockets. It's going to be awesome. And look at this map here. This is a very awesome map. It's like a little bit of everything because we have a town here. You can go inside the buildings. You've got terrain, very uneven terrain. So you can use a little bit of a hill advantage against your opponent. Also, there's a nice layer of fog and there's trees everywhere so it's going to create some interesting tactics and strategies so on one side we have russia the uh great britain and we have portugal teaming up and then on the other side we have two french armies and in the center we have the ottoman empire so very very cool let's go ahead and begin with the army comps because this battle does start fairly quickly and i'm going to go as quick as possible because there's so many armies let's go ahead and begin with russia he's got two units of jaegers he's got the unicorn 12 uh, 20 pounder uni unicorn and 10 pounder unicorn he has four units of musketeers and two units of lifeguard foot uh, russia really known for their bayonet skills he's got two units of kazakh cavalry and then he has some hussars which are very fast very deadly here is his general unit let's go ahead and look at the oh look rockets coming down look at this oh this is what i'm talking okay no 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 we're pausing this i'm seeing every volley from all the artillery okay that's not possible but i want to try to watch all the uh the rocket volleys so let's pause it here we'll start it back up once we finish the army comps uh but starting with great britain or looking at great britain for his light infantry he's got rifles he's got a uh, light foot which are charging forward. He also has a lot of foot, which is his standard uh, line infantry. And for his artillery, I think he's bringing a couple of 12-pounder uh, horse artillery. For his cav, he's bringing a couple units of dragoons. Here is his general. Here's more artillery back here. It's actually a 5-inch howitzer. And he's got some foot over here. And I believe he has like two units of foot guard, which is the more elite infantry. Look at them. Look at how awesome the uniforms are. I love this freaking game. It is so great. It's a, it's a nice change uh, to Medieval 2. And then if we look at Portugal, who's currently being bombarded by rockets, um, he's got the the Theodores, which I think is how you pronounce it. I think it literally translates to shooters. So obviously they are a light infantry, a nice skirmishing infantry. So he's got a couple of them. And then he's got some, some uh, Cazadores over here. It's pretty cool, nice brown uniforms. He's got about four units of Portuguese cav. And most of his infantry is just infantry. That's the name of them. Uh, not very creative, but yeah, it's the standard unit for Portugal. And for his artillery, where is his artillery? Oh, he's got, um, he's got some six-pounder foot artillery. Very cool. Look at that. Look at the aftermath of that rocket volley. Very awesome. So now let's quickly look at the French here. He is bringing some lancers. He's got some uh, six pounder foot artillery. He's got his infantry all kinds of grouped up here. Uh, he's got some old guard, young guard, uh, some grenadiers of line, fusiliers of line. Looks like he's mostly bringing fusiliers. Here's his general staff. He has more fusiliers of line. So it looks like he's mostly bringing them. Uh, more Lancers, some National Guard, which are not very good, but they look awesome. And then he has his rockets over here. Very cool. Now let's go to the center, the Ottoman Infantry, or I'm sorry, Ottoman Army. I'm so used to Medieval too, damn it. Uh, but he's got some Credit Rifles, which is his skirmishing infantry. And then over here, his main infantry is just the Credit Infantry. So very cool. And then here's his artillery. He's got the 18-pounder 18, 18 foot artillery. Very awesome. Looks, I love the uh, the style here, the Ottoman style of that artillery. Really cool. And then he's got his general over here, and then he's got some uh, horsemen. Delhi horsemen, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. So very cool army. And then the final army, and then we can begin this battle. The last French army, he's got the Chachias. Uh, over here, he has some six-pounder foot artillery. He also has a rocket that's currently setting up over on this hill. He's got a lot of Swiss foot and old guard, which I believe is like the standard for most Napoleon army comp builds or French army comp builds. And then he's got the Polish Legion over here, which have stunning uniforms. So electric looking. I like the yellow and blue, like Sweden. It's very nice. And then he's got the young guard. Here's his general. Very cool. So let's let's just play this because I am... I'm itching for some artillery volleys. So both teams here charging forward, which is 
which is a good idea because you want to get a nice strong position against your opponent and taking some of the buildings will certainly help you out but it's not it's it's difficult because of all the artillery it's easy to destroy those buildings but portugal is kind of splitting up his forces here he's got one force oh wait here comes all oh, both rounds of rockets coming in we got this going into the skirmishers and then russia's facing the same fate getting hit hard by those damn rockets they have really good range so they're going to get the early harass off and russia is not going to take his time he is charging forward look at the the mites of the russian infantry charging forward they're like quickly men to the front lines we must bring death upon them destroy their rockets i mean i love this game especially when you see like crazy artillery like this i know most of the time have rules against the artillery um, but it's just nice every once in a while to see to see like no rules and seeing rockets on the battlefield So France charging up some Lancers. I think he's just maybe he's just trying to get in the trees here uh, But he noticed that Portugal is pushing up his skirmishers, but they're they are well protected He has his infantry close behind That are going to uh, protect him against any cab charges All right, England is making the most aggressive push here comes another rocket volley. Oh boy. What are they going for? Oh, they're going for his Russian artillery. That's that's probably pretty smart right there. Take out his artillery. You really, uh, you know, you you kind of handicap his army when he has the when he has no artillery power, because artillery is just so key in this game. It helps out so much, destroying lines and defenses. So France is setting up his battle lines. It looks like um, France is going to be the aggressive one here. Uh, I, I don't know why I would just kind of sit back and fire my rockets make Portugal come to you because you have the capabilities Oh, I like this position here of the uh, nine pounder foot artillery look at a slight hill That makes it really difficult for France to try to charge and take this artillery. This is really cool I like this position nice. I would love to be an artillery crewman if I had to join the military uh, back then like good old Napoleon start off and artillery uh oh looks like the rocket look at it both rockets firing off at the same time they're going for the artillery this is when i don't want to be part of the artillery crew there we go he fires back he's trying to get some revenge i believe he's going for the huge cluster of troops back here really he's just going for anything and france is charging forward england is doing a great job just like trying to take out these very important strongholds these positions uh but what is what is Russia doing? He is really charging. He is really trying to push. Oh, look at this. He's got his cav engaged in melee. He's got his hussars facing uh, the Shashir Shaval. <laughs> I'll never get that name right. Uh, but I think he's going to do a tactical retreat right there because that is definitely a fight he is losing. And the French are sending over some uh, Swiss foot to support their cav. So that's probably the best idea to get the hell out of there. Um... I'm just making sure I don't miss anything. There's a lot going on. Okay, yes, the battle has begun, and France is being super aggressive. Now, I don't know why, but the French, this French player did not bring any skirmishers, which is really risky because now he has to rely on his heavy infantry to push forward and try to destroy his skirmishers. I do not like this, guys. This is not a good formation. Uh, you never want to have your lines behind each other because they will fire at each other. So this uh, old guard or old guard unit was probably firing in the back of the fusiliers of line. Never stack your units. It's just not good. Uh, so Portugal is going to have a good time against the French. Um, little cab battle going on in the flank of Portugal. France trying to take out the skirmishers, but Portugal's well prepared. Oh my God! What is this? What is he actually? You know, he does has he has the voltigeros, voltigeros, or I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know why they're behind infantry though. What is going on? Usually, you you want your formation like Portugal, where you have your skirmishers in the front line, because when they're in skirmish mode, the infantry can fire through them without having to worry about friendly fire. But hey, this is pretty epic looking, even though his battle lines are all kinds of messed up. Oh, and he's getting hit hard by artillery. Look at that, guys. Ripping through his, his battle ranks right there. That is awesome. And there goes Portugal. His troops are breaking from the fight. The skirmishers just can't handle the massive number of infantry. But they did enough damage. And they should return to the battlefield. A 
Looks like he's pushing up more skirmishers to the front lines. Here's their point of view. Oh, and the artillery crashing down. Where's the rockets? Oh, and then we have some cav going on the flank, some Portuguese cav. Nice little uh, forest battle here. This looks really epic. We'll kind of minimize the mini, mini map so we can absorb all this chaotic fighting. Got the smoke everywhere. I highly recommend that you get Napoleon Total War. It has a fantastic online experience. Here we go. Here comes a cab charge into the French. Oh, artillery crashing down. As soon as the artillery collide with the infantry, they're not going to form square. They should be able to break them, at least cause some disturbance in their battle formation. And he's going to get them out of there. So that battle's going on. Let's turn back on the minimap and see what's happening over here. We do have some fighting going on. We've got uh, Great Britain uh, having a very close fight against the uh, French Old Guard. Um, yeah, I don't recommend getting your your light foot so close, your skirmishers so close. Uh, but Great Britain is charging down his foot. And they are going to get hit hard. This is definitely kiting 101, trying to get your enemy to be aggressive and setting up secondary battle lines to fire down. Let's see, is he going to just charge in? Just go melee mode? Is he the Russian player? What's going on? Oh yeah, here we go. It's a little confusing because they're both wearing red coats. Uh, but the Swiss foot have a little bit of, of yellow in their uniform. But so does the, uh, the uh, foot. There we go. We've got small fighting going on here, which is pretty sweet. Pretty awesome. Russia is forming up this way. It looks like there's a little uh, little hill battle. Musketeers trying to fight off a Polish legion that's in square formation in the trees. Oh, man. This is nice. So France is just getting obliterated. Um, obviously he's a newer player because he made a lot of, uh, new, new player mistakes. Um, just charging in your infantry like that, not well formed. Oh my god, and his square formation is just getting slaughtered. Oh, that is bad. That artillery is getting a ton of kills. So Portugal desperately needed this because, uh, if you looked at the balance of power, it was in favor of the other side against Portugal. So this is a really good win for them. Now he just needs to rely on his teammates to uh, continue to push through and break their opponents to destroy their opponents. So that was a really quick fight. And look at all the death here. Look at all the dead Frenchmen. A tragic battle for them. Napoleon was certainly not leading that fight. Now if I was the Ottoman Empire, I would get aggressive because... Your allies' lines are crumbling, and soon you're going to be fighting on two fronts. So you should try to push up and try to take out an opponent before Portugal shows up. But here we go. We've got a nice little line battle going on against uh, Russia and France. Now, it looks like the hill advantage is in favor of Russia. So maybe he'll be able to push through the defenses. Oh, we've got some cav running in the back here. We do have some cav fighting going on. The Hussars chasing down. A chassis of cheval. And there goes the rockets, guys. Oh, that's much needed right there. That is nice. That is awesome. And then he's sending up more musketeers. He's got his lifeguard foot. Fighting off the uh, French old guard. That is pretty awesome. Look at their point of view, the old guard point of view, ha having to see all these Russians up on that hill. That would be a terrifying sight. But with the so support of the rockets, that's that's got to help out the morale a little bit. So both England and the Ottoman Empire just kind of waiting, holding their ground. Do we have the artillery firing? Looks like they're just kind of waiting, waiting for the Ottomans to uh, get into position. Now pr um, we have, oh wow, Great Britain's over here now. I guess Great Britain send over, sent over some troops. It wasn't really necessary, but it seems like Great Britain's just kind of all over the place. He's got forces helping Portugal. He's got forces helping uh, out Russia. And he's just going to hold the center, make sure the Ottomans don't take it. And the Ottomans are just staying to themselves. You know, they're not, they're not helping anyone out. They're just holding their ground. More fighting going on here. The Swiss foot taking on... The light foot. 
Oh, and then we've got the Polish Legion charging in. Look at look at all the white squares here. That is uh, the French breaking, just getting slaughtered by the by the Portuguese. Oh wow, the Polish Legion breaking now. That is not good, not good at all. See, I, Ot the Ottomans should really take advantage of how spread out England is, or I'm sorry, not England, but Great Britain, because. He, his forces aren't concentrated, so if the Ottomans could just push through like a knife cutting through wood or something, you know what I mean? Just if he could penetrate the lines because they're really weak because he's spread out everywhere, he could do that, but unfortunately he's not doing that. You now, uh, Russia's forming up here, but his, uh, his lines are pretty thick, so that's a little risky there. I, I do like how the French are thinned out a little bit more, which is certainly what you want to do. If you if you clump up your forces too much, they will lose a lot of, ca or they'll take a lot of casualties. Here comes the rockets. This is what I'm talking about. Rockets coming in. Oh my god, that was nice. Getting a couple kills there. It looks like it's going to kill way more than it actually does, but... It killed like four or five guys, which is, you know, whatever. That helps. And then we've got the uh, French cav here. That's pretty awesome. I love watching the French, you know, just fire their, their pistols, their small muskets there into the enemy ranks. And they did a pretty good number on the, the musketeers. I'm really surprised Russia didn't bring any uh, grenadiers. Here comes another volley of rockets. Oh, my God. It's Oh, my God. The sound is so delayed. What is the deal with that? Uh, but, yeah, they're taking heavy losses from those rockets. And I believe France is doing a really good job holding this hill. Yeah, in fact, he's pushing down his Swiss foot. This is what I'm talking about, about this map. It's just, there's a lot of different paths you can take. And look at this, he is, he's taking out the Russian artillery. I do not know if he realizes, oh, he does realize. He's sending back some musketeers to deal with the flanking Swiss foot. So basically what he did is he went up this hill flanked around and he's getting some fantastic kills on the artillery but watch out here comes the musketeers they are about to charge in oh wait there they go charge russian roar charge in there man take it i don't know who's gonna win this fight um i'm not too certain who's better i believe the the musketeers are actually winning right now because of their superior you know, melee skills. Uh, but there's a nice little battle going on here between the French and Great Britain. Looks like Great Britain's using his dragoons, charging through the light infantry. Now the artillery is exposed. They could certainly lose their artillery. France is having a tough time against Great Britain. Because, you know, he's kind of fighting on two fronts. What is the Ottoman Empire doing? Your troops are getting killed. Your allies are getting killed. He's got his artillery here firing, though. Oh, who's running? Oh, there we go. Okay, good, 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 good. He's got something fighting off the Portuguese. He's got his uh, credit infantry. Looks like they're going to get ready for the second wave of infantry. Nice. So Portugal's trying to cut through their defense. We also have some troops going to the flank over here. Oh, nice. Uh, Great Britain getting a nice volley before the credit infantry could really form up. Come on, fire back, give him a volley. Come on, quickly, form. There they go. Just, this game, man. Just so epic. It really it does a great job capturing this time period. Looks like the rockets were destroyed here by Cav Charge, which is very unfortunate. And we've got, oh, we've got a flanking unit of foot guard that are just going to slaughter this credit infantry. He needs to pull out of there. He needs to get out. Uh, the Ottomans were just too passive in this fight, and that's pretty tragic because his allies are just getting double teamed and surrounded. Alright, old guard, come on, form up. Form up and fire. Russia is doing a great job, even though his men were pretty clustered up in this fight. Uh, I, I, I think he's just overwhelming the French with his numbers because the French are so busy trying to fight off Great Britain here. And Great Britain has defeated the French resistance. It was, a, it was a tough battle in the trees and in the hills. But now France is going to have to retreat back. This is the last uh, stand by the French army. This, this battle isn't over quite yet, though. 
uh, because the Ottomans are very, very healthy. They have pretty much their entire force. So if they're smart, they could certainly beat the other team. But again, because he was so passive, Great Britain and Portugal are able to just flank around him and just overwhelm him on all these different kinds of fronts. And he really doesn't have... Like, it's tougher to micro against multiple players because they can focus on one area while you are focusing around a bunch of areas, if you know what I mean. Uh, but the credit infantry just getting surrounded. Also, I saw in the background there's some troops charging in. We do have a nice little uh, forest battle here. Uh, Portuguese infantry taking on the credit infantry. Pretty epic fight, guys. Very, very cool fight. And the Ottomans are now firing their artillery into the, the flanking Portuguese in Great Britain. Look at the Shashios over here. Our men are running, sir. More Portuguese breaking from the fight, so the credit infantry holding strong. They're holding their ground. They can they can do this, I believe, in the Ottoman infantry. And the French are, are still flanking around some troops here. Oh, the rockets coming in. That's awesome. Oh, they break from the fight. Look at that. The musketeers. Or, yeah, they're shattered. All right, great flank by France. This is a very nice tactical flank. Because now he has the uh, capability of taking out the Russian unicorn. Very epic battle. What is this? Artillery just walking through French lines. What is happening in this fight? <laughs> Look at all the dead cab. They're just piled up everywhere. Alright, so let's head back to this front because this, this seems like where most of the action is. Portugal should be able to win this engagement. He's really weakened down this credit infantry. Also, he has the hill advantage. So, I have the higher ground. <laughs> I will use it against you. Surrender. I think they should push up this foot unit, get them right on top of this slight slope. Uh-oh, we have some cab charging in. Ottoman cab going in. Oh, nice. That is much needed. Good use of the cab. Oh, those guys got wrecked. That was awesome. Very, very awesome. Seeing the glorious Ottoman infantry. More troops breaking from Portugal. The Ottomans putting up a great stand. Look at this. Buildings have been destroyed. Smoke everywhere. Fog everywhere. Death and destruction. France is putting up a great stand. Great fight. Looks like um, one of the generals died. I'm not sure who is whose general that is. Could have been the French general. Um, but yeah, he's putting up a great fight. It looked like the French were like pretty much utterly defeated, but what left, what troops he had left, he really just put a huge dent in the into the Russian army. Got the Russian Jaegers retreating back, trying to get away from the general. Now uh, Great Britain is flanking around the Ottoman Empire, and he's surrounded. He is completely surrounded, guys. And this is this is why you don't want to be too passive, because if you just sit there and don't make a decision. That's worse than making a decision, if you know what I mean. Even though just sitting there and doing nothing is your decision. Inception right there, guys. <laughs> uh oh, Portuguese general under attack. Got the credit infantry firing through the trees, trying to weaken down this foot unit. Foot unit's not even engaged, they're not even bothered by it. More cav coming in. Charging through with cav. Pretty epic shot right here, watching them charge through the trees. He's going to help out his infantry that are engaged against the Portuguese infantry. Oh, they got hit hard by some, some volleys there. Here they come, that slow-mo cav charge. Something weird with Napoleon, I don't know why it's like that. Doing a great job against these grenadiers. But the grenadiers, they're really good in melee. So I think they're going to do they're going to do just fine against this cav. Yes, here comes Great Britain flanking around, going after the artillery now. 
and they actually break the foot but there's a lot more reserves over here we got some light foot and some foot guards oh glorious victory soon to be ours looks like portugal is going to take it here portugal just has a very healthy army like his french opponent did literally nothing to him but I do like the last stand here of the Ottoman Empire. He's uh, he's definitely trying to redeem himself for being a little too passive at the beginning. Oh, tragic, tragic sight of seeing the Cav just get gunned down. War in this time period, pretty hell. It's pretty much a living hell. <laughs> Here's a nice little line battle. You know, honestly, we didn't see these, like, really organized fights. I think mostly because of the terrain. Just makes it a little difficult to form nice long battle lines. Like, line, line battles. But, uh, here's a nice little one that's going on. Uh, I do think the foot guard are going to lose here. They're outnumbered. And they are getting shrecked right now. Look at all the dead foot guard. Fighting for their country. Oh, we've got artillery crashing down. Oh, look at this horse, this, uh, this horse. <laughs> I was going to say this horseless horse, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Here we go. We have a nice push by the English. And a nice point of view here. Pretty nice. It looks like they're getting attacked by credit infantry in the back there. Where's that, it, where's that artillery? Come on, fire that artillery. We want to see more. Here we go. Nice. See, so what is he going for? Oh, he's going for the, uh, the credit rifles, his skirmishing units. Look at this. Ottoman infantry is just getting surrounded. Here's another healthy unit of foot now joining the fight. Are, is this enough to take out the two lines? Maybe, possibly. They need to hurry up and start firing. And then we've got the, uh, the artillery crew. They're going to go into melee. I'm kind of surprised that the Ottomans didn't bring any infantry. This would actually be a pretty intriguing map for infantry. There's a lot of places where you can set up ambushes. Oh, he's forming square? Why is he forming square? Here's uh, the light foot going into melee. The general is just in the center of this, just trying to like, you know, trying to organize everyone to go wherever needed because they are just surrounded everywhere. All right. Looks like he's going to push with his foot. Where is his foot? What are they doing? Okay, there you go. Yeah, he's pushed for that center. And there's nothing protecting the center. Is this the officer? He's just like... Yeah, he's just like, all right, looks good, boys. <laughs> you can march forward. All right, what, what is going on? Oh, yep, the general is now getting focused down. Get the general out of there. It's not looking good for the Ottomans. Great Britain now charging into melee. We'll go ahead and close out the mini-map. Because most of the fighting is taking place here. It looks like the Ottoman infantry or the Ottoman rifles are going to win this one. How many times have I said Ottoman infantry? Uh, too much medieval too. There we go. Nice, nice job with the rifles. They're turning around, focusing this unit that's flanking through the center. But Portugal is on his way and he's holding back Portugal with a handful of infantry. Trying to slow them down by time so he can win on the other flanks. Oh, this is a nice formation right here. Check this out. He's got his skirmishers up here. His heavy infantry in the back. That is that is awesome. I just love this game, man. It's just so good. Just It's well polished. It runs really smoothly, too. It doesn't lag too much. Of course, it always depends on how many players and what kind of players you're playing with, but... Overall, it's, it's a very nice online experience. The Ottomans now forming the square formation, but they are breaking from the fight. They just have no stomach to continue this battle. And that is going to be the fight. That was a very, very fun battle. Lots of artillery, lots of explosions. And um, if we look at the kills here, lost in Nepal, leading Portugal, getting a ton of kills. His French opponent, which I believe is this one right here, he only got 346 kills, and that was the main issue for the other team. Just this French player did not get enough kills. 
Uh, if we look at Great Britain getting the second most kills, he did a great job supporting everyone. He was a good support player in this battle, helping out the Russians and the French. And then Russia doing the worst on his team, but still it was enough to get the job done. He lost a lot against the, his French opponent, which by the way did the best, Broman. Getting 1,415 kills, he did very, very good. Uh, Brighton King, the Ottoman Empire, he, I think if he was a little bit more aggressive, he could have done even better, but he put up a great show at the end, like holding his ground and trying to fight off against all these different fronts. So I hope you enjoyed the battle, guys. You can see all the destruction here on the on the map here. Look at all these buildings burning up from all that artillery. It was really, really fun. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. If you're going out to celebrate New Year's Eve, please be safe. Be smart. Of course, don't drink and drive. And I'm going to have a special video coming out 12, 12 um, at night, you know, New Year's, the new day. It's going to come out. It's going to be really funny. It's my time, of course. I'm U.S. Eastern time, so you can kind of guess when that's going to be based on your time zone. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.